A lot has been made at the World Cup this year about the Vuvuzela horns. Now, these are these plastic trumpets that a lot of fans like to blow throughout the game. And honestly, I find it quite annoying when I'm trying to watch the game at home and all I can hear is these horns. So what I did is I decided to use LabVIEW to try and create a filter to remove uh, some of the horn noise. I hooked up my TV to this input of my sound card and then hooked my speakers to the output of the sound card and essentially put my computer in the audio line in between uh, the source, which is the TV, and the destination, which is the speakers. Then I wrote this little application in LabVIEW to remove the the frequencies at which you find the Vuvuzela. Now it doesn't do a perfect job of removing the filter, uh, removing the the noise, but it does take the edge off it. So what I'll do is I'll run it, and then I'll I'll turn the filter on and off a few times so you can hear the difference that it makes. So this is the filter on. You can see the peak in here. Um, that's the the main noise of the filter, or the main vuvuzela noise that we want to filter out. And then there's various harmonics of that we'll also take out. Now you hear a little digitization artifacts uh, when I play it now. That's purely because of the, the additional CPU power taken up by the screen recording software I'm using. If we were to look at the source code of this LabVIEW VI, um, it's graphical source code, it being LabVIEW, uh, this code up here just handles the user interface and, uh, and the help button and the turn the filter on and off and whatnot. Code we're interested in is, is mostly down here. We acquire the, the sound. Right now I'm doing it from a sound file because there's no game currently playing, uh, so I recorded some earlier but uh, it's easy to swap that out to the, v the correct VI to get data from the sound card. I'm calculating the average, the code down here calculates the average uh, center frequency of the last five samples uh, and centers the filter around there. It also calculates the values of the harmonics. And then the real work is done by this filter VI where if we look at the code here, it's just a very simple band stop where I pass in a series of uh, low and high cutoffs and for each low high cutoff pair, I simply perform an elliptical IIR filter of order four band stop to take out those particular chunks of the frequency spectrum. It's a very simple, crude filter. Uh, it, it does work, it takes the edge off the sound a little bit, um, but I only spent about an hour on this application. You could obviously spend a lot longer, come up with a more complex. Uh, algorithm for filtering the sound, but this kind of did the trick for me. I was quite happy with it and didn't really want to spend too much more time on it. So it was my quick uh, prototype of a filter to just knock out specific frequencies. If we were to completely knock out the Vuvuzela, we'd knock out the, the commentator, and at that point you might as well just hit the mute button on your stereo. So uh, anything that's going to take out the filter or the Vuvuzela entirely would take out the commentator too. So assuming that the audio is all mixed together, this is about the best you you'd hope for. Um, but again, you could come up with a more advanced algorithm that does things a little bit more efficiently.